Hello everyone, welcome back or to my channel. I'm Lexis and this is Nam Nam to Fitness, the channel where I make mainly healthy vegan recipes. So, welcome to my channel if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make sea moss gel. I've been using it in smoothies and honestly, if you don't know what sea moss is, just type it in on Google and research all the benefits. Research it because it is, it is such a healthy product to have and include in your diet. I believe it contains 92 trace minerals that the body needs. I think our body needs like 102 or 103, something like that. But sea moss, Irish sea moss, contains most of it, which is why it's so healthy. It's good for your skin. It's good for internal organs. Just research it. So I got this off Amazon, and it comes dried in a package like this. So when you get it, you're going to want to rinse it off really good because it has, I think this is like, salt crystals on top so yeah they put something on it to maintain its freshness so yeah I'm gonna clean it in water or let it soak and then we're gonna cook it down in a pot until it forms a gel and I like to add cinnamon to mine and nutmeg so it's really easy to make it does not require a lot of ingredients at all eating it in smoothies is the best way because it's not very appetizing to just eat it by itself just by looking at it it's very like gelatin like which is why it's perfect to throw in smoothies because when you do it that way, you don't taste it, but you're still getting all of the nutrients and minerals that you need. Okay, so I believe that I covered everything, so let me show you the recipe. So I'm adding about this much sea moss into a tubware container. This is about one and a half cups. And now I'm going to transfer the sea moss over into my sink and wash it off really good. You want to make sure to get all of those salt crystals off. And now I'm adding it back into the tubware container and I'm going to cover it with spring water. I don't use faucet water because faucet water contains a lot of things that I just don't want to be consuming. Especially here in Texas, the water is not the best. So I definitely recommend using bottled water. And then I'm going to let it soak for about one hour. And after an hour has passed, what you want to do is taste the water. And if the water still tastes salty, then you want to drain the water out and add more water. And let it sit for another 30 minutes to one hour. So by this point, it has doubled in size. You see it expanded quite a lot. So now I'm transferring my sea moss into a large pot and I'm gonna cover it in seven cups of water. I'm adding one and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon and just a dash of nutmeg. I'm gonna mix this up and then let it come to a full boil. Once it's boiling, I'm going to turn the flame down to a low medium. I'm just gonna let it cook down for about 45 minutes to one hour. And every 15 minutes, I stir it up to prevent the bottom from burning. So you just want to be on it every 15 minutes. Just give it a mix. And once the sea moss gel starts to melt like this, that's how you know when it's finished. And my sea moss was finished in about 45 minutes. So now I'm pouring it back into the tubware container and I'm going to let it cool to room temperature then store it in the fridge overnight. The next morning, you have your sea moss gel ready to use. I like to toss this in my smoothies. So I'm adding some bananas and some frozen berries, some unsweetened almond milk, a scoop of vanilla protein powder, and a quarter cup of sea moss gel. Okay, it is time to try the sea moss smoothie. Mm. So good. So yeah, you don't really taste the sea moss at all because it doesn't have a taste. So you're just getting the taste of a delicious smoothie with all the benefits that the sea moss has to offer. So definitely make the sea moss. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you like the sea moss recipe. Thank you so much for watching. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. I'm going to finish this smoothie.